Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I'm going to speak about uh, correction of IB and IC together using the Flinder bar. Now, the question is how IB and IC are formed. IB is formed on a vertical soft iron which is along say center line of the ship say for example funnel or center line mast forward of the compass or maybe aft of the compass. IC is caused by a side mast on the monkey island. Say for example you have a mast on starboard side but there is no mast on the port side so you have mast only on the one side this will cause IC. Normally IC is absent. They say a well placed compass means coefficient A, coefficient E and coefficient IC is absent on that ship. Now we will take care of coefficient IB and IC together using the Flinder bar. Let's say uh, the ship is in northern hemisphere and if the ship is in northern hemisphere the signals are pouring from top wherever the signals enter the conductor first a blue pole is made which means that say uh, when the signal hits the mast first or the funnel first a blue pole is made there. So can we say in the simple and straight language that in the northern hemisphere the funnel tops or the mast tops are blue in color. The deck is blue in color. The keel is red in color. So we'll talk about northern hemisphere, the induction, the magnetic induction which takes place in soft iron. We will pick up the most conspicuous vertical soft iron in the vicinity of the magnetic compass that is the funnel. Now as I said, a blue forward, starboard or below. Blue forward, starboard or below gives you a positive coefficient and blue on the other side for example the blue on the port blue on the aft and blue above the compass will give rise to the negative coefficient so in the northern hemisphere where there is a blue pole because of the funnel formed aft of the compass will give rise to a coefficient called ib induced b similarly suppose you have a mast on the monkey island which is on the starboard side because the cap is blue color, because the top is blue color, because the signal is pouring from top, right? The blue on the starboard, as I said, blue forward, starboard below. So blue formed on blue pole formed on the starboard side will give rise to a coefficient that is called plus IC, right? So funnel gives minus IB in northern hemisphere, and a starboard side mast will give you plus IC. If the mast was not on starboard side, mast was only on the port side, it would have given rise to minus IC. So let's consider a case where you have the funnel and the starboard side mast. Here's the ship. Here's the compass. And here is this blue pole formed because of the funnel. And you have a side mast, okay, once again the color is blue, so there is, because it is northern hemisphere, this is the blue mast and this is the blue funnel. A simple understanding, the inherent position of the flinder bar is forward of the compass. On any ship you must have seen there is a socket, cylindrical socket and there is this flinder bar which is kept forward of the compass. The inherent position of the flinder bar is forward of the compass because every ship you have the funnel aft of the compass. You must not have seen any ship where the funnel is forward of the compass. So funnel is normally aft of the compass. So to compensate to compensate the induction that takes place in the funnel, you have a flinder bar, right, which is a solid soft iron placed forward of the compass. Now, uh, logically or diagrammatically understanding, suppose you have a fore and aft component of induction, fore and aft uh, component because of the funnel induction, right? Funnel is sizable compared to the mast which may be placed on the starboard side of the monkey island so maybe it is causing minus six degrees ib is minus six say for example and it's quite possible that this mast over here is causing a plus ic of 
2 degrees. So funnel 6 degrees and this mast 2 degrees, right? So we can consider this particular situation like a parallelogram and as if the equivalent field is in this direction or an equivalent vertical soft iron in this direction. So flinder bar should not be over here, flinder bar should be slewed slightly to port side, slightly anti-clockwise, right? Rule can be followed like this, that if you have a funnel, if you have a side mast on the starboard side, the funnel is giving blue aft, so minus IB, and mast is giving plus IC, the signs are opposite, this is negative and this is positive. So when IB and IC are not of the same signs, the flinder bar should be slewed anti-clockwise. And by the way, if the side mast was not here, side mast was here, then we would have said IB is also minus, IC is also minus. So slew the flinder bar clockwise. Now the question is how much should we slew the flinder bar? So the answer to that is if the slew angle is M, then tan of M is equal to IC upon IB. And also, if they are same sign, then slew clockwise from the inherent position, which is forward of the compass. And if they are of different signs, then slew them anti-clockwise. So tan of M is equal to IC upon IV. So 2 divided by 6 gives me, shift tan, gives me an angle of 18.4 degrees. So M is equal to 18.4 degrees. So suppose you want to collect IB and IC together, that means you want to neutralize the effect of the funnel as well as side mass. This one is causing IB equal to minus 6 and the pole here is causing IC equal to plus 2 degrees. You want to correct them together. The flinder bar must be slewed anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise because they have different names. The amount of orientation is 18.4 degrees anti-clockwise. What we do is on the Monkey Island with this line as four and a half line, I draw a line anti-clockwise uh, 18.4 degrees from the four and a half line. Now suppose the ship is steering a course that is northerly, right? And there is this line drawn 18.4 degrees uh, to the anti-clockwise of the four and a half line. So what is the amount of course that the ship should alter so that this particular line becomes east-west line or this particular line shows the west direction. So for that the ship will have to alter the course by an amount 90 minus 18.4 degrees. That means the ship comes to a course like north 71.6 degrees west. North 71.6 degrees west means 288 0.4 degrees in three digits, right? A course that is opposite to 288.4 degrees should be 288.4 minus 180 that will be 108.4 degrees. So these are the two courses that is 288.4 and 108.4. These are the two courses on which this correction can be done because these are the two courses on which when the ship steers what will happen is the flinder bar as well as the equivalent vertical soft iron, they will be east-west. That means they will be 90 degrees from the meridian of the compass. That means their effect will be maximum. That means the disturbance will also be maximum. The correction also will be maximum. So these are the two headings on which the correction can be done. Alternately, an examiner might ask you that on a ship, it was found that the flinder bar was slewed about 15 degrees anti-clockwise from the four and a half line, from the inherent position. What does it mean? So you must say that invariably on the ship, because of the funnel, there's always an IB that is present, which is corrected by the flinder bar forward of the compass. So inherent position of the flinder bar is forward of the compass. However, if the flinder bar was slewed anti-clockwise, it would mean that the sign of IB and IC are uh, not same. IB is bound to be negative because the funnel is aft and vertical soft iron aft in northern hemisphere will give a minus IB, assuming that the ship is in northern hemisphere. So if uh, the flinder bar was slewed anti-clockwise, it would mean that the IC was positive. So that's about 
uh, the combined correction of IB and IC using the Flinder bar and the formula tan M is equal to IC upon IB. So maximum deviation which the Flinder bar must give or maximum correction which the Flinder bar must do is equal to under root IB square plus IC square.